The city sprawled out beneath a curtain of mist as Jenna, a young professional, moved into her new apartment in the heart of the urban jungle. Excitement mingled with exhaustion as she unpacked her belongings in the empty space, eager to start a new chapter in her life. Little did she know, the apartment held a history that would soon unravel in the most chilling of ways. As night descended on the city, Jenna found herself alone in the quiet apartment. The soft hum of the city's nightlife echoed through the streets, creating a lull that should have been comforting. However, an unsettling silence lingered within the walls of her new home. The emptiness of the apartment seemed to intensify with each passing hour. Shadows played tricks on her eyes, and every creak and groan of the aging building resonated with an otherworldly resonance. Jenna, attempting to dismiss her unease as mere jitters, retired to her bedroom. As she lay in bed, the silence became a suffocating presence. The air seemed to thicken, and the room grew colder. Suddenly, a faint sound echoed through the empty space, the distant sound of soft footsteps. Jenna's heart quickened as she strained to listen, but the noise ceased as abruptly as it had begun. Days turned into nights, and the apartment's emptiness became Jenna's constant companion. She started noticing peculiar details, a forgotten feeling of being watched, objects out of place, and the persistent echo of footsteps when she was certain she was alone. Sleep became elusive as the apartment's atmosphere transformed from an unfamiliar quiet to an oppressive hush. In her quest for answers, Jenna discovered the building's janitor, an elderly man named Mr. Wilkins, who had been in the complex for decades. With a hesitant glance over his shoulder, he began to unveil the dark history of the apartment. Years ago, a tenant had vanished mysteriously, leaving the unit abandoned and cloaked in a sinister reputation. Undeterred by the ominous tales, Jenna delved into the apartment's past. As she researched, she uncovered a tale of unrequited love, betrayal, and a tragic end. The previous tenant, a young artist named Eliza, had disappeared under mysterious circumstances, leaving a void that seemed to echo through the apartment's empty halls. One fateful night, Jenna, determined to confront the spectral presence, performed a seance in the now-haunted apartment. The room crackled with an eerie energy as she sought to communicate with the lingering spirit. Unseen forces seemed to respond, and the temperature in the room dropped. A faint figure materialized, an ethereal silhouette that flickered in the dim light. It was Eliza, the lost soul trapped in the emptiness between worlds. As Jenna spoke words of compassion and understanding, the ghostly figure revealed the heart-wrenching tale of her demise. Eliza's lover had betrayed her, leading to a tragic end within the very walls of the apartment. Consumed by sorrow and resentment, Eliza's spirit had remained tethered to the place of her demise, unable to find peace. With newfound empathy, Jenna vowed to help Eliza find release. Seeking the guidance of a paranormal expert, she embarked on a journey to uncover the secrets that bound Eliza's spirit to the apartment. The expert, armed with knowledge of ancient rituals, conducted a ceremony to break the spectral chains that held Eliza captive. As the ritual unfolded, the apartment seemed to exhale a heavy sigh. Shadows retreated, and the oppressive silence lifted. In a fleeting moment, Eliza's ghostly figure appeared, her expression now serene. With a whisper of gratitude, she vanished into the ether, leaving behind a transformed space. Jenna, forever changed by the experience, found solace in the newfound quietness of the apartment. The once empty space now felt serene, as if the lingering echoes had finally found closure. The city outside continued its nightly hum, but within the walls of the once haunted apartment, an emptiness transformed into a peaceful calm. The autumn leaves rustled in the evening breeze as James, a 17-year-old, found himself home alone. His parents had embarked on a brief business trip, leaving him to enjoy the solitude. Little did he know the tranquility of the empty house would soon be shattered by an unseen visitor. The first night passed uneventfully, with James relishing the freedom and catching up on his favorite movies. However, as the second night descended, a subtle unease settled over him. Odd occurrences began to unfold. A door creaking open, a shadow moving in his peripheral vision. Initially dismissing it as mere imagination, 
James couldn't shake the growing sense that he was not alone. One evening, as he lounged in the living room, the atmosphere took a chilling turn. A book slid off the shelf and a chair shifted, seemingly on its own. Intrigued yet uneasy, James tried to rationalize the occurrences. Perhaps the house was settling, or maybe he was more on edge than he realized. But deep down, a seed of fear had been planted. As the night deepened, the air in the house thickened with an ominous tension. James caught glimpses of a shadowy figure moving silently through the hallways. Panic set in as he realized that he was not imagining things. An unseen visitor was making itself known. Fearing for his safety, James locked himself in his room. Outside, he heard faint footsteps, each one echoing like a malevolent heartbeat. In a state of panic, he called the police, describing the inexplicable events that unfolded in his supposedly empty home. By the time they arrived, the mysterious figure had vanished, leaving no trace. When his parents returned, they found a changed James, a young man haunted by the memory of an unseen visitor. The police investigation yielded no suspects, and the security of his home was now shattered. Determined to regain a sense of safety, his family beefed up security measures and installed an alarm system. Yet the chilling realization lingered. An unseen presence had breached the sanctity of his home, leaving James forever on edge, questioning the boundaries between the seen and the unseen. The echoes of that unsettling night persisted, a lingering reminder that sometimes, in the silence of an empty house, the things unseen can be the most terrifying. The weekend loomed ahead, and Sarah, a 14-year-old, found herself home alone as her parents set off to attend a family event. Initially reveling in the newfound freedom, she settled into the quiet evening, looking forward to a couple of days of solitude. Little did she know the tranquil atmosphere would soon give way to an escalating series of disturbing events. As the evening progressed, the persistent ringing of the phone disrupted the peaceful solitude. At first, she dismissed it as a prank call, perhaps the result of mischievous friends or a wrong number. Determined not to let it spoil her time alone, she chose to ignore the incessant calls. However, the unsettling persistence of the ring soon transformed the annoyance into genuine concern. The phone continued to intrude on the silence, its shrill ring cutting through the air like a relentless siren. Each time Sarah answered, a void of silence greeted her from the other end. The absence of any sound only deepened the disquiet, leaving her on edge. What had started as an irritating disturbance now evolved into an unnerving mystery. As the night wore on, the calls grew more frequent, punctuating the quiet with an ominous regularity. Sarah, unable to shake off the building unease, started to question the source of these relentless interruptions. Was it a disturbed prankster, or was there something more sinister at play? Her attempts to rationalize the situation offered little solace. In the dead of night, when the world outside her window was cloaked in darkness, the phone rang once again. This time, however, it carried an unsettling weight. Sarah hesitated before answering, the trepidation seeping into her bones. A chilling whisper. So close it felt like a breath against her ear slithered through the line. I can see you. The words hung in the air, freezing her in place. Terrified and convinced that someone was watching her every move, Sarah fled to her room. The comforting click of the door lock offered a false sense of security. Alone in the darkness, she clutched her phone, heart pounding, mind racing. The fear that had taken root now blossomed into a full-blown panic. In the solitude of her room, she dared not make a sound, her ears straining for any indication of an intruder. The air felt heavy with an unseen presence, and the quiet of the house became an oppressive silence. Minutes stretched into agonizing hours as she waited for the nightmare to pass, questioning the safety of her own home. When the first light of dawn broke through her window, Sarah summoned the courage to inspect her surroundings. Reluctantly unlocking her phone, she was met with a horrifying discovery. A picture message, sent in the dead of night, displayed a chilling image. It was a photo of her, taken from outside the very walls that were supposed to offer sanctuary. The realization struck her like a physical blow. Her trembling fingers traced the outline of her features in the photo, confirming the proximity of the intruder. How close had they been? 
Questions and fears swirled in her mind as she contemplated the violation of her privacy. The sanctity of her home, once a fortress of security, now felt like a fragile facade. In the aftermath of that harrowing night, Sarah struggled to find peace. Her parents, upon their return, were met with a changed daughter, one haunted by the spectre of an unknown presence that had invaded the supposed safety of her home. The phone calls had ceased, but the lingering fear, the sense of vulnerability, remained etched in her memory, casting a long and ominous shadow over the once familiar spaces of her life.